Hi, my name is Laura Raffles. I'm a gastroenterologist at Mayo Clinic Rochester, and I specialize in taking care of patients with inflammatory bowel disease, such as Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. So today I would like to share with you the results of a study that was just recently published in Elementary Pharmacology and Therapeutics. This was a study that was examining the relationship between smoking and Crohn's disease behavior. So the study came out of Spain. It was actually the largest study of its kind looking at the relationship of smoking and inflammatory bowel disease. So they identified over 3,000 patients with Crohn's disease and they categorized these patients according to their smoking history. So it was determined if they were non-smokers, ex-smokers, or current smokers. They then went on to look at their disease behavior from the time of diagnosis onward and they made correlations between disease behavior and their smoking status. So what they found was that smokers were much more likely to have more aggressive disease behavior. Specifically, the smokers were more likely to have stricturing disease or narrowing in their intestines. Patients who smoked also were more likely to go on to develop perianal disease and the stricturing disease in a shorter time frame. The patients who were smokers were more likely to require immunosuppressant treatments, including drugs like um, thiopurines and biologic therapies such as Remicade, Humira, or Simsia. So the bottom line is, this is another study that once again suggests that smoking is not good for Crohn's disease and certainly can lead to more aggressive disease behavior and may make the disease require more aggressive treatment. So this highlights the importance for us to talk to our patients who smoke and encourage them to get help to stop smoking. And certainly we hope that any patients who are not already smoking never go on to develop that habit. Thank you.